Dean Davis and LiveWeatherBlogs.com meteorologist here. It's time for an Irene update. Let's take a look where Irene is now. Irene is located here in the area of Virginia Beach, moving to the north. You can see where this is going. It has a more north northeast movement, so that would take it right towards Cape May in about probably five to eight hours. And you can see the eye walls located right near Virginia Beach. It's going to be on the area of the of the uh, part of Maryland here, the, the Myra, as it moves towards uh, Delaware. We had a tornado uh, warning earlier. And you can see this is building up also against the mountains. Rainfall totals and 11 inches. Inland. And this is all going to move towards the Delaware Valley. This is what's so scary about the situation. Yeah, that's what you have to watch with these hurricanes. That and tornado probability. There's a higher risk of tornadic probability. Delaware, New Jersey, even towards Philadelphia. I'm not going to count on Philadelphia being another tornado threat because when this comes in, when the easterly winds pushes up against those higher elevations, you're going to turn with the wind with height, and that's going to cause possible tornadoes out towards Philadelphia. And you see, this is all moving here to the north. And going towards Cape May, there's going to be a landfall of this hurricane. What I want you to pay attention to is just draw this north. That's where tropical storm force winds are going to draw this perfectly north. That goes to Philadelphia. That is your hurricane force winds. That will be over most of New Jersey here. We're talking 2, 3 a.m. is going to be the brunt of it here in New Jersey. We're talking about high winds, howling winds, damaging winds. And this is saying north, northeast at 20. Um, I mean at 12, but the earth been jogs to the west. So, like I said, Cape May, even if it moves from north, northeast from where it is properly right now, it'll come on shore at Cape May to Atlantic City tonight. All computer models are in agreement here. Let me try to zoom in here. You can see this. All these have it right on the coast, minus H Wharf, which is right off the coast. But I would be believing this landfall right around Cape May. Here's the satellite picture, and you can see a huge storm. A lot of implications here. The probably on drawback in Western New York, Western Pennsylvania, parts of. Uh, the area of West Virginia. We're going to put this in motion here. Watch what's going to happen here. And I'm moving in this general direction, as you see. We are putting this in motion now. This is the uh, center down here. So here's the banding coming into New Jersey. So gustier winds going to come in here. Uh, anywhere LBI south coming into there. And then I'll be pushed towards Philadelphia about an hour and a half from now. And this will keep continuing all night long. Problem is we're going to most likely see some power outages. Just stay with liveweatherblogs.com for all your latest weather information. Take a look here. We're on the chat here. I'm here. Uh, we're going to talk, talk the storm over. And I'm sure more meteorologists will be with us a little bit later to talk about the storm. So stay with liveweatherblogs.com for all the latest. For liveweatherblogs.com, meteorologist Dean Davison. Stay safe out there.